is time to show you guys how we created the craft on the thumbnail, the spinning windmill. Now it was inspired by this page here. And guys, did you know the main purpose of a windmill is to convert wind into energy, like electrical energy. And farms use that energy for things like pumping water underground. So yeah, guys, I'm a country girl, I'm raised in the country and I'm not ashamed of it, okay? Um, but yeah, make sure your kids know that fact. That's something really cool. But anyway, for this craft, we use the cup but you guys can use anything you want like a paper towel roll or one of those orange juice box containers anything like that so while the paint was drying I had the kids make grass on this plate and now check out how we are making the propeller if you don't have straws you can use things like chopsticks or some more of those wooden strewer sticks that we have for barbecues I took some hot glue and put together the straws in like a crisscross shape and then I glued them together using foam sheets that I cut in a circle and then I hot glue all of that together and then I had an inch of the strewer stick left from the first craft when we made the fence. I used that to poke it into the foam cup. And lastly, I used a hole punch to create a hole in our propeller. Yes, it's possible. I mean, you just gotta add a little extra pressure, but then it made a hole. And then I attach the propeller to this stirrer stick and I'm using a bead to hold it in place. You guys could really just glue anything on the front to hold it in place. If you don't want your windmill to spin, you guys don't have to do this. You can just make a propeller and stick it on there. I mean, you can even turn this into a little STEM project where kids can figure out what they would use to make a propeller. So speaking of STEM, did you guys know that I had a previous video with some STEM crafts? Y'all should definitely check that out. I'll have it linked in the description box below. turned out so cute right so I thought this would be the perfect time to come out and talk to you guys about the book that inspired all of this good stuff that you're about to see here today a letter for air and it is written by Lacey Boucher and illustrated by Il Nas Barmier I can't wait to tell you guys about how this book will teach your child how to appreciate nature and celebrate clean fresh air and also giving them the responsibility to keep this world a clean and safer place.